Flesh and Blood capped off 2023 by releasing a solid new player product in Bright Lights while simultaneously dropping a fantastic casual multiplayer product in collaboration with the professor of Tolarian Community College. And here in 2024, they just put $1.5 million down in competitive winnings in this competitive season and have just released what many are touting as the best set that Flesh and Blood has ever seen, both for limited and constructed formats. Now more than ever before, 2024 is the best time to get into Flesh and Blood. And this is how I recommend you do it. If you're looking for starter deck product, I cannot recommend the brand new set Heavy Hitters enough. These starter decks that released with the uh, new set heavy hitters are fantastic learn to play tools. If you are looking to pick up a deck and just try it out for yourself, these retail from anywhere between $12 to $15 at your local game store. Uh, there are six different heroes to choose from. They are a great learning option being in the uh, 40 card blitz deck format. Uh, they all play incredibly well. I bought mine for 10 bucks. Like I, I bought all six of these 10 bucks each and they are incredible for picking up and learning how to play. The new Heavy Hitters uh, set is touted by many, myself included, as perhaps the best set ever created for the game, and these decks complement it perfectly. They come fully ready to play out of the package. They have an entire deck's worth of cards. Uh, they have the hero in a nice foil. Uh, they give you everything you need to sit down and play, including tokens. The entire deck is ready. They even included some really cool extended art cards and a fun little tips and tricks card in the back to uh, allow you to maybe learn a little bit about the deck and the hero before you actually sit down to play. But again, these are, in my opinion, the high watermark of starter deck products. They're super cheap, very easy to pick up one. If you're looking to just learn the game yourself, these are fantastic. And if you're looking to teach you and your friend how to play the game or your significant other, buy two. They all play well against each other. They all function incredibly well to show how the game works and how these each of these heroes play within the set. If you're looking to learn how each of these decks functions and how to play each of them, then hit the subscribe button because I'm putting out a series where I go video by video and explain how each of these decks work in about 12 minutes. And uh, I've already released the first one. It was KO. So if you want to check that one out, hit the uh, link that's popping up right about there. Now, like I said, these retail for about 12 to $15, and I highly recommend that you pick them up from your local game store. Flesh and Blood is a game that is designed and revolves around and believes heavily in playing this game with others in person in the Flesh and Blood. And so supporting local game stores is your best way to uh, allow that to happen in the future. But if you don't have a local game store in your area that supports Flesh and Blood yet, I have a tip for you. Go down in the links in the description and check out MinMax Games. They are a huge supporter of Flesh and Blood. They are a local game store themselves. They support this channel, so thank you so much, MinMax Games. But if you go down in the link in the description, um, it will give you 10% off, so you can get these for even cheaper, and it'll cover your shipping most likely. So highly recommend the link down there and support MinMax Games because they love this game and they love the community around it. These are fantastic for one to two players to pick up and just run with. But let's say you want something that's even cheaper and lower as far as barrier of entry. Go to your local game store or hop on to uh, TCG Player or on to MinMax Games and uh, check out Bright Lights because Bright Lights has a really cool booster pack format called Crack Shuffle Play. You can essentially buy a few booster packs of this set, crack them open with a friend, sit down, shuffle those up, and play a game of Flesh and Blood. The set is designed for new players to be able to pick up and just run with. That is really cool. You don't have to worry about deck building. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, like pulling out cards. You can literally just smash them all together, throw the cards down, and just kind of figure out how the game feels to just throw cards back and forth. The set itself is all based on the class Mechanologist, and so if you like the idea of creating giant robots or uh, steampunk aesthetics, then this is the set for you. And again, it's a fantastic way to just get your feet wet, dip your toes in, try the game out, see the mechanics, crack shuffle play. All you really need is like three packs per person. That is incredibly cheap. But let's say you and your friends are looking for some way to get into the game. Let's say you're casual players, you like multiplayer. Well, 
Like I mentioned at the start, Flesh and Blood released this really cool product called Round the Table, if I can get on the screen. Round the Table, boom, there it is. Uh, with the professor of the Telerian Community College. It is a social play kit. It is a multiplayer product, and it is really cool. I've taken some of the decks out already because I have already played some of the decks. I haven't played these two, uh, but there are four decks that come in this product. They are all designed for multiplayer play. As you can see here, you've got uh, different heroes with different classes, and you can just pick them up, shuffle them up, and play just like the pre-cons that I showed you earlier. These function in the same respect, but they play incredibly well against each other in multiplayer. And not only that, this entire thing comes with a playmat, as you can see, and it comes with this fantastic little archival box that you can use to store all of your cards in and more if you want to buy booster packs to supplement these things. It doesn't come with this beautiful playmat. This is actually my uh, 10,000 subscriber playmat, uh, which is a beautiful piece of art that I had done. Um, there are some of these still available and uh, we are celebrating more than 10,000 subscribers. We're celebrating 18,000 subscribers. We're going to do that this weekend. So keep your eyes peeled. If you want to be part of a giveaway stream, you can get in on this. But I highly recommend that you pick up the uh, round the table starter product. It is a fantastically fun uh, gameplay experience sitting around the table and playing all of these heroes. But let's say that you want to go a little bit deeper. Maybe you picked up one of these blitz decks. Maybe the KO Blitz deck is, you know, calling to you and you want to build this in classic constructed, which is the main constructed format of this game. Where should you go to buy singles? Well, you can always buy singles on TCG player. Technically, you can also buy singles from MinMax games using that same link in the description. But if you want to support um, a local OG of the flesh and blood scene, I have to point you online to fabtcgcards.com. Flesh and Blood TCG Cards, or Fab TCG Cards, is run by my buddy Jim, who I met through this game when the game came out. He is like the original like singles retailer within the space. It's just him and his family that open product. If you are looking for singles for Flesh and Blood that you want to pick up and kind of pad out these Blitz decks, he's one place to look at as well. So I'll put a link down in the description so that you can get uh, some deals that way as well and uh, you can check out his wares to support a local small business. And if you're wondering what kind of heroes you should start investing in, what's good in the meta right now, and kind of how long are these heroes going to be around for, here are some of the heroes I highly recommend you check out, starting with a couple from this newest heavy hitter set with Kasai. Kasai is a really cool warrior that uh, is pretty strong, a little bit underrated right now, and is going to be around for a while. She can do a lot of really cool things, and if you like the idea of raising an army and having a bunch of, like, cell sword mercenaries at your disposal, and just swinging a bunch of swords, Kasai is for you. Uh, alongside of her, there's Victor. Victor is uh, rapidly becoming the guardian to beat in the Flesh and Blood Classic Construct format. He can defend himself really well. He can block up in some scary ways. He can make gold tokens like crazy, almost kind of like Kasai, but he uses them to pay off his uh, big clashes and uh, tries to uh, make you feel real bad by putting bad cards in your deck while he has all the best stuff. So if you like the idea of being defensive, efficient, and throwing big attacks, uh, he might be the guy for you. But the one that has made the most splash in heavy hitters thus far and in the meta is KO. KO has come out and just been a wrecking ball within the meta. He's incredibly aggressive. He creates might tokens that make all of his attacks stronger. He can throw a ton of damage and just slam cards down on the board. So if you like playing aggro, KO is the one for you. But maybe this aesthetic is not up like your speed. Maybe you don't like this more fantasy aesthetic and you want something a little steampunky like I was talking about. Dash is the one. She's one of the best. She's been around for a while. And as a mechanologist, she likes to tinker and uh, build inventions with uh, steam counters and items aplenty. But she can also just put the hammer down and be all gas, no brakes, pushing massive attacks over and over and over again. 
So you can build her a couple of different ways, and this Blitz deck is a great way to start things off. From there, I recommend building and buying singles to build classic constructed decks of all of these. Uh, and if you want any information about any of these, let me know in a comment below, and I will make a guide for these Blitz decks and an upgrade guide on how to make these classic constructed. And finally, if you want to actually play the game, where should you go to do so? And again, this is a game that's all about playing with people in the flesh and blood in the local game store. So if you're looking to find a place to play, here's how you find that. If you go onto the main flesh and blood webpage by just typing in fabtcg.com, you can actually go to events and event locators right here. And in doing so, it's going to take you to this splash page and it's going to look for uh, events in your area. You can search by format. If you want to just play something very simple, maybe you want to do Blitz pre-constructed to just try the game. That includes these Blitz pre-constructed uh, pre decks. If you want to do that, you can uh, then find an armory near you. Armories are local weekly events that are meant to be more intro friendly and casual friendly. And then you can change your search radius and type in your address to find events all around you and like i said there's events all over the world here's some that's happening in japan here's uh one that's happening in finland if you want to you know fly to finland do it up go to finland that would be cool play the game and see the world that's the way to do it and keep in mind as well if you're looking to get more competitive with flesh and blood the competitive scene is hugely supported to the tune of 1.5 million dollars this year so if you want to get plugged in and play for the big stakes and the big money well you found the game to do so road to nationals season is right around the corner it's starting this weekend so if you learn how to play the game and you start committing yourself to trying and be more competitive this is an opportunity for you to jump in either with classic constructed the main constructed format of flesh and blood or heavy hitters booster draft. So if you're a big limited player, I mean, this is the best set for limited. And I've played all of the sets since the beginning of the game in 2019. We're about to hit year five. This is the best limited set they've ever released and could be the best set they've ever released, period. So you're coming in at the right time. So there you go. That's all you need to know on how to start playing Flesh and Blood in 2024. This is the year that Flesh and Blood turns five years old. Not many games can say they do that. And this game is not only going to do that, but it's also growing like leaps and bounds. So if you got anything out of this video, consider making a number go slightly higher because we're looking to hit our ultimate goal of 18,301 people. If we can get that many subscribers, I don't know what would happen. I'm actually not sure. It would be terrifying and exciting at the same time. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.